before we start, Alex? We don't have any hands up just yet, so is there anything that you wanted to share? Yeah, very briefly. Thank you, Johanna, and thank you everyone for uh, tuning in. Really, the whole purpose of everything we're doing is to just start talking about what stuff that really matters. That, that's where all of this came from. Let's just start talking about what really matters. I'm not saying I've got all the answers, but we need to start talking about this stuff again like people did a hundred years ago, before screens and internet and, and all that sort of thing. And this week's uh, is temptation. And there's no other teaching, there's no other truth, there's no other principle that has made a bigger difference in my life than this one. This one and what I call the greatest principle are the two that totally changed my life. Um, I'll set it up just a little bit, hope it just keep me out of the house. I stayed up all night praying and crying and cursing, nothing... Uh, that life-changing seemed to happen. The next day, one of my high school friends came by and said he wanted to introduce me to this uh, business guy who was starting a business he thought I'd be interested in. There was absolutely zero chance I would say yes to that meeting after what had just happened to me, at least if you look like the rest of my life, looked at the rest of my life. But for some reason, I did. And I believe it was God. And I went to this meeting and met for the first time my um, mentor, who is still my mentor today. And this is one of the things he taught me pretty early on that uh, changed everything for me. I grew up in a, a very religious, legalistic setting. Never felt like I measured up to being good enough. Uh, thought my sin was more than it should be, and made me bad, made me not saved, made me all this kind of stuff. So uh, basically, from the time I started school until Hope kicked me out of the house at 28, I never really felt good about me from uh, being a good person or a bad person perspective. And then Larry taught me this. And it's the very nature and definition of the word temptation, which means to lure you from one place to another, okay? That's what the word means in, in ancient languages and in our language today, both. Well, guess what? You can't be lured to somewhere that you already are. That's that violates the definition. That's not temptation. That's not being lured. That means that's just where you are, who you are, uh, what you're living, uh, etc. But if you're tempted before you do it, that is literally proof that you are not there. And where and where's there? Meaning um, you're not good enough. You're in a state where you're not saved. You're in a state where you're not safe. You're in a state where you are living out your nature of fear more than living out your nature of love, etc. Okay? If you're not tempted, you just do it without any resistance, then, yeah, you're not lured there. You're already there. But if you are tempted, as I was virtually 100%, of the time in my life, meaning before I did something I considered wrong or unkind or, or sinful or telling a lie or stealing a candy bar or whatever it was, I felt a resistance. I had thoughts, I had feelings that were, I should not do that. I, 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 I don't want to do it, but I do want to do it. I want to do it for the pleasure, but I don't want to do it because I believe it's wrong even though sometimes I still did, but if I'm tempted to do it and don't just do it out of my nature without even without, with no resistance, if I'm tempted, then that's proof that I'm in a place where I am safe. I am in a place where maybe I am saved. I'm in a place where more I'm living out my love nature than my fear nature. And when that really sunk in for me, that since that had happened virtually 100% of the time, it meant that 
all this time, I've been in a good place, not a bad place. I have measured up instead of not measuring up, which had haunted me every day of my life and I had struggled with internally. Well, the same is true for you, okay? So before you sin, before you do something you believe is wrong, before you do something you believe is not the best thing for you to do at that moment, etc., etc., before you are unkind to someone, do you feel any thoughts, feelings, resistance to that, or do you just do it automatically without any resistance, and that's how you respond every single time? Well, if there's resistance, it means you're more on the path of love than fear, which, which to me meant everything because it meant I was good enough rather than I'm not good enough, which, which is my I, basic identity of me, okay? And, uh, and I would also say, you know, if, if, if you're not a religious person, but you're trying to live in love versus fear and give up the end result, etc., the same thing applies to you. If you're tempted to act in an unloving way, then that's proof that you are living more in the love camp than anywhere else, which is where you want to be. It means you're on the right path, basically. Okay? If you're not tempted, yeah, you got some work to do. You need to realize, man, I'm in the wrong camp now. I'm on the wrong path now, which means it's going to lead to the wrong destination. But if you are tempted... It's proof that you're not there. All right. That's it, Johanna. If we have any questions, I'll be happy to take a shot. Okay, let's see. If you have a question, press star two on your phone. That's going to raise your hand. You'll be able to comment or ask a question um, to Alex. Let me just check and see if we have anything on the web, Alex. Down there. Two on your phone is going to raise your hand. Okay, I don't see any hands up today, Alex. All right. All right, that's fine. Just remember you can send your question in. You don't have to be here. We'll answer it, post it. You can listen to it as you uh, as is convenient. But please think about where you live, in your family, with your friends, etc., let's start talking about stuff that matters. Let's start talking about these big issues of life. They're, they're the only things that matter when we get to the end of our life. Thanks so much, and uh, have a wonderful day.